Hi, I'm Luke and I'm here for another Giant Thursdays. In my last video, I looked at what is the Google AMP project. If you want to know more, please click here. In this video, however, I'll be looking at how AMP works. Here comes the science bit. It works in the same way as Facebook's instant article. Keep an eye out for upcoming videos on this. In order to benefit from Google AMP, you need to duplicate your site in AMP HTML. This strips away most of the elements which cause web pages to load slower, like JavaScript and third-party scripts. Then, Google pare down and flatten the web page to make it the bare minimum and essentially to load quicker, kind of like a sports car. It works because AMP serves pages that are preloaded on its own servers around the world and will show AMP articles in a carousel at the top of Google search results. So to set up AMP is really simple. You need two versions of each article you publish. One is the original version and the second is the super duper AMP version. So you need to give your AMP optimized page a separate address. So the original article could be example.com blog post and then your AMP page would be example.com blog post forward slash AMP. The original page versions must include the following canonical tag for AMP pages. It's also good to bear in mind, images and videos will need custom tags and have to have specific size requirements. AMP HTML is basically HTML extended with custom AMP properties. So there you have it, AMP in a nutshell. But don't worry if that sounds too complicated for you, as there's a WordPress plugin that does the job for you. So remember, AMP, making your mobile web pages loads faster since, well, last year. Thanks for watching, I hope to see you next Thursday.